we have a first question? We'll go to on our right, third row, Matt Moore. First, uh, how much of the better job you guys did against their three-point attempts was staying home versus being early on those closeouts? Was it more about like recognizing how to get there, or was it more about staying glued to those shooters to make sure that they don't get those opportunities? I just think recognizing the attack angle, um, their drivers were going in. Sometimes they, they're attacking to, to pass, and sometimes they're attacking to score. Um, and then Jimmy was killing us in head situations, uh, game two, uh, finding the shooter, so we tried to stay on. Left side, second row. Uh, Bruce, Mark Kisla, Denver Post. Uh, I was talking to Jeff Green a couple of days ago, and kind of he was talking about the grind of a long NBA career. And his message was sort of, don't let the business get you down. Now, you've talked about coming to Denver, but what kept you from being disappointed in the situation, not coming to Denver, but not having the offers you wanted and making the most of it? Um, definitely was disappointed. Um, but, I mean, that just added a chip on my shoulder to come out and prove uh, what I know I can do uh, in this league. Um, and Denver was just a perfect fit. Um, everything obviously fell right in place how we thought it would. Um, so I'm happy to be here. We're going to go right side, third row. Ryan Blackburn, Mile High Sports. Uh, Bruce, there's been a lot of conversation over the past couple of days about the Jeff Green dinner that he hosted at his house. I just wondered, like, how important are those, even if they're small, like just moments of camaraderie with the team where you get to refocus, whether it's after a win or a loss? Yeah, it was great. Um, I mean, not a lot of people like to have people at their crib, um, especially how nice Jeff's house is. Um, but it was great. Um, the whole team was there. Everyone, all the coaches were there. Um, and it wasn't even talking about basketball. We were just having a great time being around each other um, and seeing how nice um, Jeff house is. Do we have another? We'll go to Gary here in third row. Yeah, Bruce, Gary Watson, Boston Globe. Uh the pride that you have from being from Boston, where does that come from, from being Dorchester, as you pointed out? I think just being a Bostonian. I mean, everybody from Boston loves Boston. Um, and me growing up there, um, that's all I knew. Um, so I think just the grind uh, of being there, growing up, loving where I'm from, loving the sports, loving everybody that I've met being from there, um, it just speaks for me being from Boston. And the, the city obviously has the Celtics, but not a lot of – great NBA players from there, mm -hmm. good ones. I mean, what it brings along that pride in terms of just, like, who did you follow? Who did you look up to yeah, growing up? definitely a lot of hoopers from Boston. I looked up to, like, Shabazz, Napier, Wayne Selden, um, those guys who uh, I've actually watched play. I watched Shabazz play in the BNBL um, when I was there when I was younger. Um, so, I mean, without those guys, I don't think I would be here. Um, I, wouldn't, I didn't think um, a kid from where I'm from can make it out. Uh, so those guys played a huge role uh, in my success. Any more questions for Bruce? We'll go here on the right, third row. Yeah, Bruce, Ryan Blackburn, Mile High Sports. Uh, so much of the conversation surrounding Jokic and Murray over the course of these past couple of days, too, has just been how finally back healthy with regard to Murray, finally has, has his running mate, uh, Nicola for Jamal. Uh, what have you seen over the course of this season just – those guys developing that chemistry again and, and you guys may be developing even more confidence in that in that duo over the course of the season just what have they proven to you over the course of this time yeah that duo is just almost uh impossible to stop um they can score whenever they want uh, when they're aggressive uh, they know each other's tendencies where they like to get the ball where they like to shoot um so i mean it's for any team it's tough for them to, uh, to stop them too uh so the rest of the team we just gotta play off them we'll take one more question on the left Mark Kislow with the post again. Um, you've also talked about Denver getting, seeing you as a guard or a point guard. Um, so I asked Cal about that. And he said, man, he's always been a point guard to me because I scouted him at the U and he played Minnesota, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Has he ever told you that? or, or No. Oh, yeah. No, he never told me that. Um but yeah, at Miami, our offense is like anybody can be the one. Everybody has the hand, the ball in their hands uh, to make plays. Um, so I mean, yeah, I came into the league as a guard, um, and I started playing guard my second year in Detroit. Um, it's just the role in Brooklyn was the only way for me to go on the floor. Um, so I had to 
I had to do that. Um, I did really well at it, but now um, I like being back in my normal position. Thanks, Lepers.